You're an interesting man. Scott Lang. You're an Avenger. You have a daughter. But you've lost a lot of time. Like me. We can help each other with that. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Time. He can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. He can give us a second chance. Let me make this easy for you. You will bring me what I need. Or everything you call a life will end. not want her to watch this. We had a deal. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. I'm sorry, Cassie. Is it? What do you think I should do? I'm sure you'll do the right thing, sweetheart. Welcome back. I hit you with my car. What? I know. What? What is this? That's my little assistant health monitor. Feeling sad about going home, Bo? Must feel totally unreal. I'm supposed to be leaving. I don't know if that's gonna happen. You will walk many miles. Dozens will become hundreds. Hundreds will become thousands. Your adventures will continue for years and years. I just need to get home. I know. Sweet devotion. It's not for me. Oh. Just give me a breath. Oh. 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 Why did you lie to me? Oh. Do you want the truth now?
Is there a God? It's me, Margaret. I'm here to speak to you today about your changing body. The blood is released through the vagina. Please, just do this one thing for me. Let me just be normal and regular like everybody else. Just please, 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 please. What I feel, I can't say. I've decided I want you to join my secret club. If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you, you think you need one? Are you okay? You can tell me the truth. Ah! Fine. Good. Yes. We have the Campus Improvement Committee. Any volunteers? Social committee, fundraising committee. And how are you? I read that when you don't have any loved ones around, your life expectancy drops drastically. But you know, I've had a good run. It's tiring. Trying so hard all the time, doesn't it? I want to do this. Just so that we're ready. Please, God, let it be a lady. Do you think any of us will look like that when we're 19? We must! We must! We must increase our trust! The strands in your eyes they color them one I've been looking forward to this moment ever since baby Tommy was cut out of my abdomen. Uh -uh. Cheers, everybody! Emeralds from mountains, frost from the sky, never revealing their death. It's time. To the pool! Now! There are pirates, and they took everybody hostage. Where is the father of the pride? Robert! Robert, they're calling you. Thanks a lot, Carol. Here's the plan. We're gonna head to the next island for help. On my count, ten, nine. Why are you counting from ten? What is this, a rocket launch? Okay, fine, I'm four. This weekend hasn't exactly gone to plan. Pirates chasing you wasn't on your vision board. You're the only thing on my vision board. Is that blood? Are you okay? Yeah, just, you know, I looked over there and I saw the blood and, you know, I think I saw some brain. Was that brain yeah. stuff? Well, you know what, maybe we should, let's just step away from the scene. Hey, Debbie. Happy birthday, Peter. 20 years of friendship. Can you believe it? How do you still speak to me? Do you remember the first night we met? Never stops being weird. Just so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, you need to take a break. I just need to be practical, which is what you have to be when you're a single mom. Right, right. Tragic. I got an idea. I'm coming to LA for a week. I'm gonna look after Jack and you can stay here. I, I don't know. You need help. Let me help. Taking care of Jack is a lot of work. I think I got this. I hope that you get what you want out of this trip. Find yourself a hottie. Maybe get waxed. Waxed? Oh, waxed. Waxed. Oh, well, that's just not gonna happen. This place is amazing. Hi, I'm Debbie. The Debbie? Peter talks about you all the time. I am a scotch embarrassed. I'm not wearing anything under this. Oh, don't worry about it. We've all done the thing where we knock on the door half naked for some... My mom always says you're terrible with women. <laughs> she does, huh? So what happens next? Uh, can we stay on message? Do you always answer a question with a question? Do you always answer a question to a question with a question? So how's your love life now? Sort of like an old ghost town. He's yummy. Wait, where are you going? I have no idea what to say to this guy. Can I get your number? Oh my god. Here. He is into you. No, he's not. Uh, you want to 
and I tell each other everything, right? Always. I think I may have met someone. Can I tell you something? Immediately. The night that Debbie and I spent together after I found myself thinking about her. You have to tell her. It's too late. Seriously, you use your words. Ah. Cause now I'm Wait, what is all this? Peter's not interested in me like that, is he? I feel like we should see what you and I could be. This is a minor setback, right? All you have to do is take a chance. I don't take chances. So what are you going to do? Just visiting my old haunts on the off chance I might run into an ex from 10 years ago. How many have you run into so far? There she is. Hi. If I still think about what would have happened if you hadn't left all those years ago. I've been kind of wondering the same thing recently. Like if maybe I made the wrong decision. I haven't felt that free in I don't even know how long. Sean, honey. Mom, hey. I Ellie? Jojo! <laughs> hey. What a wonderful thing for us all to be here. So thank you to the bride and groom for giving us a reason to celebrate. To Sean and Cassidy. Yes. 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 Sean and Cassidy. Woo -hoo. Yeah. I need to see this through, whatever it is. You mean like with you and the groom? We can just call him Sean. Hi, you're still here. If my being here is making you uncomfortable, no, then no, it wouldn't be very cool of me to kick out one of Sean's oldest friends. I told you she was cool. She actually reminds me a lot of me at that age. Were he like a nudist? I was. I have an idea. Keep your eyes on the iPad. Bradley Pitt Campbell, do not chase the naked ladies. Ellie, this has gone way too far. I know. I don't know what to do anymore. Listen to me. I've got you. I won't let go. was called the Ship of Dreams. And it was. It really was. Give me your hand. Do you trust me? I trust you. dealt next. You learn to take life as it comes at you. To make each day count. Los Angeles, the city of angels. More like the city of dirty little secrets. People pay me to look into the activities of its finest citizens. 
I'm a private detective. The name is Philip Marlowe. How private are your investigations, Mr. Marlowe? What can I do for you? I'd like you to find my lover. He disappeared without saying goodbye. Did he have things to hide? Haven't we all? What does my daughter want? My mother was in pictures. She must think there's something between us. I hear that you are looking for someone. We're all looking for someone. But I'll pay you a thousand if you find him for me. The puzzle has many pieces. I don't know what you're gonna find. I'm going down the rabbit hole. I'm not afraid to take you with me. I do like this thing about not being afraid. Well, you should be. They're all in on the conspiracy. You'll keep looking because you can't stop. The police won't touch you, but I will. Of all the people in Los Angeles who you do not mess with, they're top of the list. The key to Hollywood is knowing when your game is up. You go in there, or come coming out alive. I have to ask myself, who wins, Mr. Marlowe? I will do everything to put you in jail. All of our secrets, Mr. Marlowe. And your secrets? You'll have to keep those too. Sir, the police are here. Police? Get your hands off me! Detective, can we talk about this? I'm going to pay you for your time. Stop. He's not a cop. This is what my son does. He plays these games. All that work for $1,000. If you're gonna steal, steal a lot. What are you doing here? Just wanted to say hi. Had a good time. All right, cool. See you around, Dad. I always assumed my son would inherit all this. He doesn't have the fortitude. He's weak. You like him a little bit. Of course I like him. He's a billionaire. We're celebrating. What exactly are we celebrating? Billions of dollars. Roll up your sleeves. Trust me. You can't cheat an honest man. That's why we never feel sorry for the mark. I really like you. I really like you too. You lied to me. We're all human. Just doing the best we can. You cause your mother anguish, and I will not have it. She wants me gone. How do you think it ends? Not well. What did you tell him? I'm gonna take a billion dollars and aim it in your direction. Jack up! Jack up! Is this real? This is real. How can I be sure? Shower. I just need it to be perfect. Nothing's going to be any different. It's just a baby. How big are they even, you know? This says they like to suck, swaddle, and swing. I don't need some book, Spencer. 
Your babies are so quiet. What's your secret? You have to stop. Trust your instincts. Great. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her. Babies cry. It's tough. Mom, hi. Hi, Joe. You need a rest. I can take care of Ruby myself. I feel like I'm disappearing. Everyone goes through this. Don't you understand? She's killing me. You want me to believe that I'm crazy. But I know what you're doing. The mother's instincts never die. No, open the door! She's so perfect. I know the truth. I'm here from the Vatican because of your brother's death. I've come to bring the transparency to this tragedy. Before he fell into darkness, he was much loved by everyone. Fell into darkness. You saw my brother kill himself. The eyes of God are on us all. This was the ultimate confessional. The nuns, they stand here and for every sin committed, they take a step back. The more steps they took, they fell to their death. God caught them. We live a disciplined life here. Contained, cleansed, purified. Peekaboo, where are my clothes? Mother says we must first remove the filth from them. You're a woman of science. What is it you seek? My brother was badly hurt before he fell. I think he discovered something that he was afraid of. here when I have dark thoughts. I think I might be a really bad person. Peekaboo! They're all lying. What is it that you think you know? One God. Peekaboo. My dad used to always say, there are two kinds of people in the world, Cameron. Astronomers and astronauts. Some look at the stars, others swim in them. like a younger, better-looking version of me. You don't believe me, do you? It's a really crazy story, Ken. Tony, did you give the Saturday morning slot to another show? They want a different host. Kent Armstrong. I, I can't believe you crashed your car yesterday. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. He's like my antithesis. <laughs> what? Some old-ass Russian rocket fell from outer space and it crashed in our backyard. Welcome to Fairview Heights. You think this is just chance, all this happening right now? You're a scientist. What else would it be? Can I see it? Sure. Come on. You've got this pile of rocket crap right here. Why don't you just build your own rocket? It's not that simple. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Hello. 
Remember when we used to talk about doing something fantastic? Whatever happened to that? I'm the only one who's even remotely rational anymore. Holy. Oh, you built this thing in like a month? Yeah. I'm about to do a test of the booster. You want to check it out? Three, two, one. What? Wait. Einstein came up with a theory of relativity when he was 26. You go do what you're destined for. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. Not that simple. Why do you always tell yourself that? What are you doing? Something fantastic. The view is so great from out here, Cam! Shuttle launch in 90 seconds. Now, open your eyes. On the news, all they're saying is keep some space, wash your hands. Okay. Some are saying masks work, others are saying they don't. Whoa, whoa, oh, you whoa. Got, you get the next we got one. it. We're good. We'll take the next one. Is he not going in? He has the separation anxiety Adrian told us. $500 an hour for that golden nugget, really? I'm afraid to film. <laughs> it's him. It's Charlie. Charlie? Jesus, what are you doing here? Can I stay here? You already let him in? So what do you have on my husband? I don't have anything. Do you have trouble telling the truth? Not generally, but I am very nervous right now by your line of questioning. I still got it. Ah! And do you feel Check under their hood. Oh God, I do not want to see your slide. Oh, oh my head. Life in a pandemic. Phil, I want to help you out. Nutshot. Charlie Dunn, 69. This is my screen name. I had Charlie 69 at Prodigy, Charlie 69 at AOL, Charlie 69 at Hotmail. Uh, what is 69 so I can... Nope. I don't want Max doing anything that's going to jeopardize his future. Do you understand me? Yeah. Did you move the truck? No. I need to Charlie! I know. I... Is this fun for you? Are you enjoying yourself? I'm getting in touch with you. Is like, I can't think of the right... Analogy, but it's very hard. You should never listen to me. I am a certified 100% idiot. Were you a doctor too? Thank you. Please. Put some pants on. Yep. Okay? No, I got. No, I understand. Too comfortable. So where are you from? I've been living in New York the last couple years. You all alone up here? Yeah, unfortunately. My ex kicked me out of our place. I'm just gonna spend the next week webcamming and making some money. Biggie! It's kind of fun fulfilling fantasies. How much will it take to make you mine? This much? <laughs> Everything okay, ma'am? They recently found a young girl's body not too far from here. First, he kills everyone around her. Then, he saves her for last. You're scaring the bejesus out of her. Looks like your cable got cut. I've just been paranoid. What do you do on there? I literally feel like I'm losing my mind. Stay in the car. Sheriff? Oh, relax. It's me. I cannot believe that she just did that. You're not nervous, are you? 
ma'am. I bet you guys are wondering what I'm doing here. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. Captain. Give me a status report. 14 casualties. 40 enemy dead. And the binder? Gone. The intelligence binder. It has the names and locations of hundreds of Vietnamese operatives. It must be retrieved and destroyed at any cost. I'm gonna send someone in. Someone who can take care of this. I'll need three teams. We're fighting a new enemy. They don't come from the sky. They don't come across water. They come from the earth. Ackerman, your team's below. You're an engineer and you're smart. I need your eyes to analyze what's down there. The priority of this mission is the retrieval or the destruction of that bonder. It's not here, man. How do you know that? Because they wouldn't leave it unguarded. Pretty hot down there. Heavy contact with the enemy, sir. It's wounded. We need help. Ah! We gotta make a stand. I'm not losing you guys. Nothing else matters. Special forces might be the tip of the spear, but we are fighting them with engineers, sir. Hold your fire! Victory is measured in body count. How do you count them when they're buried? One by one. Just a war. <laughs> yes, I'm a concours. But it's full of repos and canalize a bit of this energy. I don't want to repose at my age. At 20, nothing will happen without you. Faut juste faire une ou deux choses dans les règles. Mais ça veut dire quoi, ça Que la mention juive devrait être imposée à l'encre rouge sur nos cartes d'identité. Ça paraît fou. Je te présente Jacques. Il va examiner tes yeux. Tu fais semblant de rien voir. B. Il faudra peut-être que vous portiez des lunettes. À quel âge t'as couché pour la première fois Tu m'agaces avec tes questions. Va te coucher, la vedette. Il va falloir aussi leur donner les vélos. En tout cas, ils ont intérêt à tout nous rendre. Comment tu peux accepter ça Ça va aller, Igor. Et puis, il faut arrêter, là. On n'a pas la peste non plus. Il faut jamais avoir peur. On décide de tout dans la vie. Tu peux ouvrir les yeux. Je suis désolée. J'ai pas vu le temps passer. Mais est-ce que t'es devenue folle Est-ce que tu peux t'imaginer deux minutes, l'inquiétude Amusez-vous. Jouez toujours comme si vous jouiez pour la dernière fois. Rien ni personne ne prend le dessus sur la vie. Rien. Eu ontem acordei com a sensação estranha de que a AIDS pode ser uma doença maravilhosa. Descubro nesse momento algo muito fascinante nessa barbárie. Não deixa de ser uma doença inescapável, sabe? Mas não é fulminante. Qual é o problema do tio, mãe? Esse jeito que parece que ele não tá aqui. Ah, Muriel, teu tio tem os segredos dele também. A turma tá toda sabendo que você voltou da França, mas que tá se fazendo de misterioso. Eu disse que você iria. Festa de entendido não se dispensa, né? Não serve de nada. 
Já são três mil como a gente, Rose. Se a vida é o pressentimento da morte, torturando a gente sem descanso quanto à incerteza da sua chegada, a AIDS fixa um termo determinado. Isso faz da gente homens plenamente conscientes das nossas vidas. Livra a gente da ignorância. Nós vamos morrer sabendo o máximo que podíamos.